All right, seeing as we are here in uh, Dan Auerbach's Akron Analog Studio, I thought we should, I thought we should get a tour because I think gearheads will kind of appreciate appreciate this. Um, what what were you looking to do with this space? Uh, well, I just wanted a place where I could get on any instrument at any time and just record it. You know, well, there's a Rickenbacker. Uh, Ah, oh, what's 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 this one over here? That's a K. Uh -huh. That's a K. That's a uh, baby sitar, uh, harmony twelve string. That's called a Fender six. Pat and I used that on uh, Attack and Release. Uh, uh, not that one, but we used a Fender six for the first time, and, and we loved it so much that we went out and bought well, one again. What's, what's it looks like it has really heavy strings. Yeah, it's like it's a bass basically with, uh -huh. with six strings. It's it's even it's tuned lower than a baritone guitar. And the Rickenbacker. And the Rick. And uh, I recorded the new Hacienda record and. They didn't have any money to pay me, so they gave me the Rick and Bucker. Excellent. Yeah. Well, um, tell me about the board. The, the board is uh, uh, it's a tube console. Uh, it's custom made, and um, it's based on um, these out. These are called Altec 1567As, mm -hmm. and they're just old mixers from the 50s, uh, tube mixers, and um, it's just a very simple design. And, and um, did you have to revamp it? Any? Colin here helped build it, and uh, these this thing spent. Forever at Colin's house and really? wired it up and yeah, modified it. Actually, if you want a, a basic breakdown, I, I just added a, a, a two bass echo send that is to spec of the Alltech original circuit. So I just basically added a whole other output of it with a whole other. And it's also simple enough for a dummy like me to use. Yeah, <laughs> but it sounds really good. That's the point. Is it? It uh, sounds really good. Well, um, let's let's look at the room itself. Okay. Now, I know you recorded the new album in Muscle Shoals. Did you end up doing anything here, any yeah, sweetening? Yeah, four of the songs from the record were recorded here. Uh-huh. And uh, this, was, uh, this was just a big room on the back of the house, and we ended up uh, tearing it out down to the dirt floor and building it up, and so the, the floor is floating. There's Muddy Waters. He's kind of overlooking everything. Yeah. And, uh, so, and so this floor is, like, floating? Yeah, the floor is, you know, decoupled from the, from the actual ground so that... No street noise or anything gets in, and, and the walls are floating independently, and the ceiling is floating independently. Wow. So it's all we're we're basically in outer space right now. So when you start working, is it um, Patrick comes in? You is it just the two of you usually? Mm -hmm. Yeah, always. Yeah, and um, on this album, there's a bunch of keyboard sounds and stuff. That's Patrick. That's uh, no, it's both of us. Uh, it's both of you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We uh, we both play keyboards uh, pretty poorly, mm -hmm. and so we we just we dibble dabble. All right, let's look at the pedal board. Got to look at the pedal board. I want your step. Excuse me. Pedal board. Um, anything special on here? Anything really, no, really old? <laughs> no. Nothing is special or old. Oh, okay. I've, I've, I learned that when I bring my special stuff out on the road, it stops working in the middle of a song. <laughs> So everything is not special or old. Cool. Well, thanks. This is a cozy space for sure. Yeah, thanks for coming in.